Milwaukee County residents are pushing for Governor Tony Evers to remove Milwaukee County's prosecutor John Chisholm. It comes after Daryl Brooks Jr. allegedly drove his car through a Christmas parade, leaving six people dead. Brooks had just posted bail five days before that attack in Waukesha after the DA Chisholm's office recommended just $1,000 bail for him. Chisholm originally pinned the blame on an overworked assistant prosecutor at his office who didn't have access to Daryl Brooks's risk assessment file. but. It was pages long and everyone should have seen this coming. Let's talk about this now a little bit more with New York City Sergeant, Police Sergeant Joe Imperatrice. He's the founder of Blue Lives Matter. Joe, great to see you again. It was a pleasure, John. Yeah, you know, this is, it, why this guy is still the prosecutor in Milwaukee County, I think is mind boggling to a lot of people. And I, you know, talking to so many police officers, uh, investigators throughout the years, so much frustration when a prosecutor doesn't actually hold uh, you know, a, a criminal accountable. And that's what's going on, not just here, but it's happening all over the country. John, cops are doing their job every single day. Even the executives are going out there and saying the great job that their police officers are doing. But the problem is, is district attorneys not keeping the criminals behind bars. And that's a big issue. We keep locking them up and they keep letting them out. I don't know when, for whatever reason, the criminals became more of a I guess a priority in the victims. We've got to get back to understanding the victims and doing the right thing by them. Well, that sounds like common sense, but common sense, of course, in short supply these days. Uh, let's talk about California. He is planning to spend $300 million uh, after a surge of smash and grab crimes there. And again, I mean, anyone who knows about Prop 47 or the way things have been going in California, if you actually just focused on the root causes, they, they love to talk about root causes, but everyone knows you defund the police. This is going to happen. You don't have to spend $300 million after the fact. This should have been prevented as well. John, for 37 years of my life, it's been the same story. Democrats create the problem, and then they go out there and try to make it seem like they're the problem solvers after they created all these issues. Number one, the whole defund the police, the Black Lives Matter movement, as we see, it's not what we thought it was from the beginning. It was a lot of people just trying to get their way. The Democrats constantly go out there and make it seem like it's not an issue for these bad guys to go out there and cause problems. John, think about this. All these store owners, the people losing money day in and day out because the products that they've been saving for to try to put food on their table are walking right outside their door, literally. So we got to stop this nonsense and hopefully we can start voting in people that are going to get common sense back in there and politicians that care about the victims and the citizens and constituents of their neighborhoods. Uh, last hour, we played the clip of Lori Lightfoot at her big announcement earlier this week where she was begging the feds to come bail her out of her uh, crime wave. Uh, you know, this is the same thing, basically, that the Trump administration offered last year for Lori Lightfoot, and she said she wasn't going to allow President Trump's troops to come into her city. You know, how many lives could have been saved if she would have just done this last year? John, the problem is, is nobody's really understanding it's the kids, the kids that are grabbing guns and shooting one another. There's no reason why a child should be going out there and losing their lives when they're not even a uh, late teen. That's an issue. Someone like Lightfoot, I don't know how she gets reelected, how politicians across the nation continue to get reelected and then go back on it. It's an embarrassment. President Trump went out there. He, he, he gave you an olive branch to solve the problem and he refused it. Now you go back on it. We have to stop. We have to get into these neighborhoods that are crime written. We have to go factually by the numbers and start figuring out how we save lives. That's the number one issue that we should be tackling every single day. Yeah, and that can only happen if people like Lori Lightfoot and these prosecutors are actually supporting the police officers. And that also is in short supply, that support. Joe, great to see you. Merry Christmas. Same to you, John. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.